Hey guys and what's up, this is a series where I count down the top 5 in the chosen topic. Today we're looking at some of the biggest unsolved easter eggs within the zombie storyline. In at the number 5 slot this week we have the Mother of the Dead loading screen cipher. Ever since this was discovered, this cipher has baffled the community and certain YouTubers who like to solve these ciphers. At the moment we are still as clueless about the cipher as we were when it was first discovered as we don't know what type of cipher it is or anything else about it like that and it's been over 3 years now since Mother of the Dead has been released, this cipher definitely deserves a spot on the list. So recently the brick cipher in the giant was solved, revealing some information that seemed to be almost incomplete. The cipher read, when finished we will return to the house and the infinite. People are wondering, the infinite what? What follows after the infinite? We have the other two ciphers on the giant, which people believe are double enciphered, making them a lot harder to crack. People within the community also believe that these two last ciphers will carry on from the brick cipher giving us one long message, rather than three smaller ones. Either way, just like the mob of the dead cipher, these are unsolved as of the making of this video. Up next we have a bit of blending from the universe within the zombie storyline. The Icarus plane from Mob of the Dead became one of the main things people have noticed across Black Ops 3. We've seen it crashed on the giant, flying across the sky in Shadows of Evil and also in Zezbo no Shima, but why? We've not actually come to a full conclusion yet as to why we are seeing Icarus on these maps and why for that matter we have not yet seen it in the Eisendracker. I mean, what makes the Eisendracker so special is the only map not to feature Icarus in Black Ops 3. I personally think this might have some connection to do with the next one, which is... Richtofen's Blood Vials Ever since Origins, Richtofen has these Mob of the Dead character blood vials on his person, but why? This is definitely a hot topic at the moment within the community, as recently we had the release of the Richtofen memory segment last week, teasing us more about these blood vials. We know that these blood vials are pivotal to the storyline as they keep cropping up in various ciphers, they were one of the main focus points in the Richtofen memory trailer, and now after completing the Zetsubo no Shima easter egg, every single character has their own pair of blood vials, apparently for an insurance policy but we've also had a cipher telling us from Richtofen himself that these blood files are essential. And of course in the number one spot this week we have the Apothecan Servant Upgrade. Many many community hours have been put into trying to find the next step into how we can upgrade this gun, but nothing has been found as of yet. We have had people like NoahJ456 who alone must have put in days worth of gameplay trying to find an upgrade for this wonder weapon to then be told it is not even upgradable within Shadows of Evil. Which by the way just confused the community even more and now all we have are theories like we'll be able to upgrade it in DLC 4, which at the moment seems like the most plausible option. If you have any ideas for next week's top 5 episode, then please make sure to put them in the comments section below. But anyway guys, that's going to be all from me, so thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to leave a like rating, subscribe for more Zombies content, and as always, I'll see you next time. Peace out.